Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly general reading. This is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. It's not going to resonate with all of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Sagittarius placement you find relevant, there may be messages that will resonate. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen will be linked and listed in the description box. At the end, we'll pull some oracles, give you a bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, we're jumping right in, Sagittarius. Two more cards for Sagittarius, please. What else does Sagittarius need to know? We have a Page of Swords here, Air Sign Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have a Queen of Cups, um, Cancer, Spices, or Scorpio. We have the Four of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Swords. And one more card for Sagittarius, please. Lots going on. Page of Pentacles. Okay. Light at the end of the tunnel vibes. Two pages here. Some sort of new situation, possibly. Some sort of new situation that you are dealing with. There might be a bit of riffraff. Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the, of the deck. Could be to do with work. Maybe some sort of new job. Some sort of new revenue income stream. Something maybe that you have studied for. The Page of Swords, Nine of Cups in your past position here. Page of Swords is an energy is of, of observing, information, learning, watching. The Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is contentment. Kind of being very comfortable in your current state of life, right? Someone that is very comfortable. Whether it's emotionally, mentally, this is just, you know, you're, you're good. You're, there's not really much you want. You're good where you're at. Could be bad, could be good, depends. Someone could be watching you, you know, just live your life. Could be watching you just live your life. Maybe they thought you would be more distraught. But the Queen of Cups here and the Eight of Swords, this could either be you or someone that you were dealing with. Maybe whoever is watching you live your life. It looks like they're not so much feeling that type of vibe that you're on. Eight of Swords is uh, being trapped in your mind. Can't stop thinking about something, creating cages where there aren't any. Also a sense of victim mentality. You know, she's wrapped in toilet paper, waiting for someone to come and save her. Male or female, it does not matter. And it's like, lady, it's, it's, it's toilet paper. And you got swords around you to, to cut it out, to cut it off. Get it together. The Four of Swords and the Page of Pentacles here in your future position, that does seem like there is a break. There's some sort of silence that's going on. Four of Swords can also be healing, meditating, you know, vacation time even. But it's like, even though we're in this separation healing period, we're still very much thinking about the situation. Like, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? What's the next step? Could be whoever it is that's watching you here. Um... Yeah, healing, double healing. Somebody wants to heal something with you here. Looks like by any means necessary with the Five of Swords. Somebody wants to progress this. They're tired of being in their mind. They're sort of tired of watching you from the outside. They feel like they, you know, they're on the outskirts. Probably someone that was once in your life in a more heavier capacity. Maybe they're not so much now. And you very much, you know, you're doing your thing. You don't seem phased or bothered, and that's bothering them. It looks like they want a new opportunity here. They do admire you. They do see potential in the situation. Working again. Eight of, cup, eight of Pentacles. But I think they're kind of brainstorming how to fix it. How to get it back to where it could have been. Because there does seem to be a desire for long-term um, happiness. Long-term emotional fulfillment. They see that potential in the situation Although it may not look good, might, might not look too prosperous now. I think this person's kind of thinking, of how do they get it back on track? But they do want to put in the work. They do want to put in the work. They do want to heal things. That is their wish. That is their desire with the star card. Nine of Cups is also wish fulfillment energy. So someone could be watching you sort of wishing, hoping desiring this to come back to what it used to be or to have that chance again or to have another chance. You know, that's their wish. That's what they would like. They would like an opportunity to work on this. They want to get out of their mind about it. 
Five of Swords. Yeah, it's funny because I was getting Nine of Pentacles vibe. The Eight and the One is Nine. This could be a relationship for some of you where you are now single from this person. And I think that's what they want to change. There was the opportunity for it to go somewhere. But now it's like back to square one. Waiting, yeah. Manifesta manifestating, waiting, expectations, energy, yeah, movement. Cancer energy. Cancer season could be important to you. So this person's kind of just watching from the from the sidelines for now. Because it does seem like they're trying to figure out kind of like what to do. How to make this work. What do they need to do? How can they heal this? Also could be waiting for you to make some sort of move. But I don't think that's going to happen. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. There could be a bit of a show like a show going on the two of you might be putting on a show could be online like posting things to make each other feel like ah the other yeah i'm over this person whether or not that's the truth i don't know you know your story so we have aquarius energy and cancer spicy scorpio what guidance do we have for sagittarius please but it does look like this person is determined, willing to do kind of anything to get it back. This is like their ultimate wish with the two wish cards here is for this to be back on track towards the Ten of Cups. Five of Swords is coming up to me as, you know, I'm willing to do what, what I got to do. Just tell me what I got to do so I can do it. And Aquarius energy here again. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. See, I do get a bit of fronting going on here. Either you're fronting or this person's fronting. And the other one's like in despair, but low key, it's not really how the both of you are feeling. Could be the both of you want this to come back together and are doing a very good job of putting on a show for the other one. Because that nakedness of the, uh, of, the, of the star card means vulnerability. And we have Aquarius energy here again, show the world the real you. So there is a level of fronting going on on somebody's behalf. There's a bit of fronting going on is the vibe I'm getting. Making, making it seem like you're better than you actually are or this person is. And it's kind of sending the other person into a deeper like, oh, what am I going to do? I do feel for some of you, this is a relatively new connection with somebody, whether it's a friend, family member, love. Well, not a family member, but friend or love. With all this page energy. And it's always, you know because we don't know people right that's why we always stay in the same cycles because the, the quote unquote the devil you know is usually better than the devil you don't right when you're getting to know someone it's tough because you don't know what you're working with at least when someone's toxic you are well aware that they're toxic i mean you know but it's like new people we don't know yet and it's to take the chance to be vulnerable to find out is this person toxic is this person you know i see ten of cups i see the potential so a lot of fronting going on. I feel like both parties are kind of fronting a little bit. Making it seem like they're better than they actually are. It's like this guy is really the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Swords is really the Four of Swords. Okay, we have here, there's no such thing as the right time. Trust yourself and do it. Yeah, this is for whoever is wasting their time trying to figure out how to get it back. The point is just do it. Just go for it. Whether that is you or this other person. That should that probably is the realization that this person's gonna come to. Even flowers go through dirt and shit. Keep blooming, baby. So I'm kind of getting the vibe like this is a new relationship or connection that you've made with someone, and it's like the both of you are scarred, no doubt about that. There's things that have happened in the past on both parties' behalf that trigger certain responses. And it's like almost like at the first sight of trouble, the both of you kind of had a trigger response. And it's like, that doesn't mean it's not meant to be. Obviously, you're getting to know each other. There's going to be hiccups. There's going to be, you know. But talk about it. Work it out. Doesn't mean it can't continue to progress. The answer is not just to walk away. Especially if it's something minor. I don't get this as like major drama, major, you know. Could be just minor. We don't know each other yet. So interpretations can be taken differently. You are worthy of everything good in this life. Everything. So it could be some self-esteem issues going on low-key some self-esteem issues going on whether on both or one party's behalf 
and we have here play have fun celebrate don't be so serious see that all right sagittarius that is your reading i really do hope it resonates with you thumbs me up leave me a comment subscribe i'll see you guys next week